everybody welcome back so no EKGs in this quick video but we are on a on, on the topic of sinus node dysfunction so I, I did think that this was a good concept just to quickly bring up it's called chronotropic incompetence and chronotropy crone is you know chronological that, that root crone is is time clock so chronotropic incompetence what that means is that um, the sinus node is unable to um, either increase or decrease the rate appropriately and so with exercise. So this is a, a graph that uh, is created from uh, these exercise stress tests and I think this is a great picture to help illustrate this concept. Um, so this first chart is um, a form of chronotropic incompetence at a submaximal peak heart rate. So we start exercising right here in time. And as the normal graph here is the dotted line increases the way it should to this peak. In this case, our heart rate is only able to get to say 80 or 40 or 50 percent, whatever percentage of that peak heart rate. So um, the sinus is unable to beat fast enough, right? And all of these, all of these chronotropic incompetence. Um, diagnoses are all from various reasons, autonomic dysreflexia, um, demyelinating disease, it could be all, you know, all sorts of things. Um, so it's submaximal peak heart rate. There's the delayed heart rate response, which is where you start exercising here. Normally you start having this nice gradual increase in your heart rate to meet your metabolic demands. However, your body does not uh, kick that into um, motion until delayed time. So that's a delayed heart rate response, and maybe um, it's uh, your body doesn't have the ability to mount um, or, or maybe sense the increased demand and then mount the response in a timely fashion. You've got heart rate instability, which as you notice, you know, we start exercising here. We should have this nice steady incline, it should be gradual, it should be linear. But here we've got these jumps or um, kind of unstable heart rate, so maybe there's these momentary pauses or decrease in um, the heart rate response compared to what we need. Could maybe there's pauses of the sinus node, maybe there's intermittent um, innervation, disruption of our sympathetic or parasympathetic fibers, all sorts of causes there. And lastly, we have our inadequate heart rate recovery, which is where we might you know, go gradually like we normally would, right? This red is um, the, the inadequate recovery where you see it doesn't get down to baseline like the normal heart rate does. So we actually maintain a higher heart rate for longer than we actually need. So another form of uh, sinus node not responding the way it should, you know, we think of this, the, these, the, the chronotropy incompetence is on a spectrum of you know, is it the sinus node itself that is unhealthy, maybe from ischemic heart disease, structural heart disease, or is it because of some extrinsic cause? Are we on a sort of antiarrhythmic that is uh, maybe like a sodium channel blocker or one of those the funky sodium channel blockers that decreases the sinus node's ability to respond appropriately? Are we on medicines that block sympathetic innervation? Do we have some type of external systemic illness that interrupts uh, the innervation of this SA node. So plenty of reasons why, but I do think it's just interesting to just talk about chronotropy incompetence so that you are aware of it. Um, I don't have EKGs, but we wouldn't, you know, a, a four to six second EKG strip is not going to really show us exactly what we need to know. These are usually exercise tests where you're hooked up to the monitor and you start walking on a treadmill or some type of other stressing. So. I uh, hope that helps. Have a good day.